Hey guys, Martin here. A uh, quick update uh, this time, because uh, it slipped my mind to do a We're Still Here this week, unfortunately, which uh, is kind of a double-edged sword, because the reason I forgot to do it is because I've tried not to think too much about the fact that I have this... the depression thing. Uh, I'm trying not to think too hard about it. I'm trying not to dwell on it, because, I've, as I've said in recent entries, I've been feeling a lot better lately, and... Uh, when you feel better, you don't want to go out of your way to, to think about the fact that you're not feeling good uh, a lot of the time. So the fact that I didn't think to do one uh, is a good thing. <laughs> not really, uh, because at the end of the day, if you don't chart your progression through this stuff, how do you know if you are progressing? But I guess thinking about that is what got me to thinking about the fact that you know what are we aiming for? You know when you're trying to get better, when you're trying to get out of this, when you're trying to lift yourself up after this, you know, quagmire of, of downness, you know, the, 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 is depression. How do you, what are you, are you trying to completely heal? Are you trying to like fix yourself altogether? I mean, I guess, yes, but for a while there, you know, for a while recently, I've certainly been thinking, well, I've been trying to be a more ideal version of myself than I've ever been, if that makes sense. And that's not, that's not something that's easily attainable, and it's not even something that I necessarily think is attainable. I uh, I remember saying out loud to Mariana, you know, oh, you know, when I feel completely 100% better, I'm going to make more effort to go out and go to parties and socialize and see all my friends frequently. And she was like, are you, are you sure? Because that's not really how you were before you were depressed, you know? She was like, uh, you're you're trying to be some romanticized version of yourself. And she's right. She was completely right. I, I've never really been good at socializing. So I realized that, you know, depression... It's not that depression made me antisocial. I was already antisocial before in a much more minor way than I was as a result of being depressed. But I... When trying to recover, I've been telling myself, well, you have to be normal. You have to have a normal social life. You have to feel like a normal person. You have to be what everybody else is. But the truth is, that's not true. It's not true that you have to be quote-unquote normal. What you have to be is you. Because that's the thing that depression takes away from you, is the feeling of being you. If you're going through this, I'm sure you, you understand and, and appreciate what I'm saying. Depression makes you stop being yourself. It replaces you with a complete stranger that I, I didn't even recognize for a long time as myself. I just, I was just gone, you know? So when you're recovering, because recovery is another step, is another part of depression. Recovery from depression is a part of the process, is part of the healing process. It is the healing process. And I just don't want you to think that just because you can't be, you know, supposedly normal again, and just because you can't be a completely 100% functioning person, even if you used to be that, just because you can't be that doesn't mean that you're not doing better. And it doesn't mean that you aren't progressing and you aren't healing and you aren't recovering. As long as you feel like you, that's the most important thing to me. That's the goal, you know? I, I It's hard to see a goal in all of this. It's hard to look... Uh, put a point on the map and say, that's where we're going. But where you're going is ultimately to yourself, and it's to back to where you felt most like yourself. And as long as you start feeling more like yourself all over again, I, that's the most important thing. That's the sign of real healing. It's not whether or not you can act like everybody else in society, because I never did that before. I, that, that's not me. That's not who I am. And I don't want to pretend that I'm... I don't want to tell myself that I'm not doing well just because I'm not doing the same as everybody else, if that makes any sense. So if you feel like you're letting yourself down, like even without depression, if you feel like you're letting yourself down or you're letting everybody else down around you because you aren't able to do exactly what everybody else does, if you aren't able to cope or function the same way everybody does, that's not what matters, and that's not what people expect from you. They just expect you to be you. And I want to be me. <laughs> you know, I want to. I just want to be me. And uh, 
And that's my goal, is to be me again. Well, that's, <laughs> I know it's a bit of a short one. It's a really short one, because uh, it's just getting a bit late at night here. But I just wanted to check in with you guys before, you know, Monday was over. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you feel like yourself. And if you don't, that's, that's not cool. It's not a fun place to be, to be nowhere, ultimately. But you'll be somewhere eventually. You'll find yourself again. It's difficult. It's difficult to, to find your way. It's dark. It's hard to see. It's hard to feel. But the light comes back. I'll see you later.